Let's have a closer look at the interior of the Embraer 190. The flight deck is configured as follows. There are two pilot seats. The one on the left-hand side is the commander seat. The one on the right-hand side is the first officer seat. A foldable seat positioned just in front of the flight deck door is intended for an optional observer. When it is not used, the seat is stowed behind the commander seat against the flight deck partition. A flight deck bulkhead and the flight deck door separate the main passenger cabin from the flight deck. The door is located just aft of the observer seat. There is a keyhole located in the flight deck door from the cabin side but entry is possible only if the secondary locking mechanism of the door latch has been disengaged from the flight deck side. This door also incorporates a spy hole for the flight crew to see who is trying to gain entry. The flight deck interior contains the control columns and rudder pedals. The pilot and co-pilot lateral consoles located beside each pilot seat the aft right-hand side console, the control pedestal, and the overhead panel. The passenger cabin is 274 centimeters, 9 feet wide, at shoulder level, and 200 centimeters, 6 feet 7 inches high. The aisle is 48.9 centimeters, 19.25 inches wide. The overhead storage compartments are large enough for roll-on bags. The passenger seats are left-hand and right-hand double configuration and are 46.3 centimeters, 18.25 inch wide. Each seat has a baggage restraint device capable of restraining items 3 by 12 by 17 inches and weighing 10 kilograms, a life jacket stowage area under the seat, and a seat belt. The aisle side armrests can be folded up to permit access to the seat by handicapped persons. The seats in the first row are equipped with armrest mounted food tables. All other passenger seats are provided with seat back mounted sliding food tables. A back mounted literature pocket is mounted under the table. The seats are capable of quick release to enable a carry on stretcher to be brought on board the airplane. The forward cabin crew station is furnished with an aft-facing, self-stowing seat, mounted on the aft surface of the forward wardrobe. It is provided with life jacket stowage underneath, a body belt, and shoulder harness. Next to the jump seat, a cabin crew handset, a cabin crew panel, and an emergency flashlight are mounted on the wall. The aft cabin crew station is similar to the forward cabin crew station. The jump seat faces forward and is attached to the forward surface of the aft lavatory. It is also equipped with life jacket stowage underneath, a body belt, and a shoulder harness. The station is also provided with a cabin crew handset, a cabin crew panel, and an emergency flashlight. The optional third jump seat is an aft-facing seat mounted on the surface of a windscreen. The aft cabin crew panel provides a temperature control, a guarded galley master switch to shut off the galley power in abnormal situations, cabin lighting controls, water system indications, and an attendant call reset button. A left-hand and right-hand windscreen separate the aft galley area from the cabin. The left-hand windscreen has a large cutout with a drop-down window, so that the cabin crew member seated in the forward-facing cabin crew seat is able to see more than 50% of the seated passengers. This window has to be latched during takeoff and landing. A passenger service unit, PSU, is installed over each seat row. It provides the following services. Passenger information sign, 
including no smoking and fasten seat belt signs. A reading light with associated control button at each passenger seat. Gasper air for each individual passenger seat. A push button and indicator for cabin crew call. A loudspeaker for information from the flight and cabin crew. And oxygen mask dispensing units. The airplane has provisions for three galleys. G1 and G2 are located in the forward fuselage by the forward service door. G3 is located in the aft fuselage adjacent to the aft service door. The galleys provide an area for food storage and preparation and stowage of other miscellaneous items. The basic design of G1 provides storage area for two trolleys and one standard unit. It also has a hot liquid container, HLC, a coffee maker, sink, and a waste disposal unit. The G2 is equipped with one oven. In addition to storage areas, G3 has two ovens, one HLC, a coffee maker, and a waste disposal unit. To turn off the electrical power in abnormal situations, all three galleys are provided with circuit breakers. The Embraer 170 standard configuration has two lavatories, one in the forward area and another in the aft area. The forward left-hand lavatory is located just aft of the left-hand flight deck bulkhead. The aft lavatory is located just aft of the aft passenger door. Both lavatories are equipped with a toilet and sink, assist handles, no smoking and return to seat signs, a cabin crew button, oxygen dispensing units with two masks, a waste compartment with an integrated fire extinguisher and a smoke detector. A baby changing table can be found in the rear lavatory. The lavatory doors are designed to prevent anyone from becoming trapped inside the lavatory. The door can be unlocked from either side. The lavatory smoke detection system identifies smoke in the lavatories and warns the crew. The system consists of smoke detectors mounted on the forward and aft lavatory ceiling panels, lavatory smoke test switches on the forward cabin crew panel, and circuit breakers installed in the flight deck for the forward lavatory smoke detection system and in the center eBay for the aft lavatory smoke detection system. Sampling the air for presence of smoke begins immediately after power is applied. It is indicated by a green power indicator. When smoke is detected in any lavatory, the following sequence is initiated. The red indicator turns on and an alarm will sound inside the lavatory where smoke has been detected. The chime is mounted into the lavatory smoke detector assembly and is audible from anywhere in the cabin. A flashing amber light on the cabin crew light indicator panel will be activated, giving the cabin crew visual indication of the detection of smoke from anywhere in the passenger compartment. The forward cabin crew light indicator panel indicates forward lavatory smoke and the aft cabin crew light indicator panel indicates aft lavatory smoke. A CAS warning message, lav smoke, will illuminate in the flight deck. The cabin crew member has to perform a system operation by pushing the built-in self-test switches on the forward cabin crew panel. When built-in test is initiated from the forward cabin crew panel by pressing and holding the test switch for a particular lavatory, the smoke detectors, cabin crew, and flight crew indications are tested. After the test switch is released, the flashing amber light in the cabin and the warnings on the flight deck are held for 7 seconds. 
The lavatory auto discharge fire extinguishing system consists of one fire extinguishing bottle in the waste disposal receptacle of each lavatory. The bottle is mounted with the discharging tubes extended into the lavatory waste compartment above the waste container. The fire extinguisher bottle, a heat actuated device, is charged with 120 grams Halon 1301 agent. The fire extinguisher bottle pressure gauge is visible when the waste compartment door is opened. If fire occurs inside the waste disposal, the auto discharge fire extinguishing bottle will automatically discharge. The tip at the end of each discharge tube melts at 78 degrees Celsius, 172 Fahrenheit, causing the bottle to fully discharge into the waste compartment and knock down the fire. Discharge indication can be seen on this pressure gauge. The Embraer 170 is equipped with standard safety items, readily available for use in an emergency situation. The location of the equipment must be known by each cabin crew member. The basic version of the Embraer 170 has the following safety equipment stations. The flight deck, the forward cabin crew seat area, the air stair stowage, the aft left-hand cabin crew seat area, and the left and right-hand bulkheads. The flight deck is provided with the following standard safety items. Three crew life jackets located at the backrest of the pilot's seats. Two portable flashlights fixed to the side consoles of each pilot seat. A crash axe fixed on the left-hand side console next to the commander seat. A fire extinguisher and a PBE, protective breathing equipment, mounted on the left-hand bulkhead behind the commander seat. On the left-hand and right-hand ceiling, an escape rope is stored. This can be used to exit the airplane through the flight deck windows in an emergency. The forward cabin crew area has a crew life jacket underneath the seat and an emergency flashlight mounted on the wall. The air stair stowage contains two fire extinguishers, a PBE, a portable oxygen bottle, an oxygen key, a medical and first aid kit. The aft left hand cabin crew seat area is equipped with a life jacket and an oxygen key underneath the seat and an emergency flashlight fixed to the wall. The left hand bulkhead is provided with two fire extinguishers, two PBEs, and one portable oxygen bottle. The right-hand bulkhead contains a first aid kit and a megaphone.